Well, welcome to day 26, where you are going to learn that life cannot come from non-life. As a matter of fact, this is a law of science called the law of biogenesis. Now, what I find fascinating about this is though, even though it is a law of science, we see in our textbooks oftentimes, not the one you're using, but in many of the other public school textbooks, we do see that even though the law of science says that, somehow life did come about. Why? Well, because we're here. You see, that's not good science. Uh, one of the things that I love about creation is that it is consistent with what we believe. And what I mean by that is this. Uh, we believe that God created this world through his spoken word. Can I show that to you scientifically? No, not at all. However, we can see that it is consistent with what the Bible teaches about who God is, the power, the, the miracles that he has done. We see throughout history and archaeology that these stories that are in the scriptures aren't just stories, but actual true historical events. And so we have information to back that up. Now, evolution, on the other hand, is inconsistent. And what I mean by that is this. They tell you that life can't come from non-life, but yet it happened one time. They tell you there's another law of science, that matter cannot come from nothing, yet they say it did once when we had that atomic particle in the Big Bang, that singularity. In other words, they break laws of science in order to practice science. Well, as Christians, we need to follow the rules of Scripture in believing what we believe. And therefore, we must be consistent. 